Hello, everyone. December 13th, Wednesday, FOMC day. Welcome to today's FOMC live stream. Yeah, I, know, I don't know. I've been, I said this last time I was going to, I need a FOMC intro. I just, uh, you know, I, I don't have one. Maybe I can do some freestyling for you, Ken. It's FOMC day, options in play. What's Uncle J Pow gonna say? Rates higher, lower, staying the same. Trade hackers don't care. It's a probability game. When the data comes out, the vol will crush. Sell premium if you can handle the rush. That's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Powell on the street, can you handle the heat? Wild market swings are sure to come. Time to buy premium and have some fun. All right, that's all I got. <laughs> all right, let's get into it. So I saw some of some of you all still like to uh sell some premium in the AM. I set up a uh I set up a theoretical position near the open. $4 credits on each side and got a credit of $7.35. I didn't actually take this trade, but as you can see, it is sitting right there, which is why I do not sell premium free FOMC. It's just not worth it. You're taking the risk for no reward. If you look at, I mean, if you look at the trade logs, you look at the back test, it looks fine, right? But you got to dig into the trade logs and understand that the profit targets never get hit until after the data is released. No need to do it because you can get in right now for the same thing. $4 credits would be the 70 on the call side and the 20, 20 or 25s. Hmm, you must be looking at a different back test tomorrow. Very few hit in the one I've, I mean, I haven't looked at it for <clears throat> months because I just, I've tried to trade it in the past. I've back tested it. And I did certainly did not see half the profit targets hitting. And I don't know what profit target you'd be using. Yeah, maybe 10 or 20% profit target. Couple minutes here until I will enter. So if you are newer, haven't traded FOMC with us, you can check the trade plan. I've got on my sheet the two trades that I'll be doing. The first one is selling an iron condor prior to the data release. What typically happens is we get a little bit of a volatility contraction after the data is released, but price doesn't move too much. And then just before the press conference starts, I'll close it out for whatever it is. Could be loss, profit, whatever it is. I'll close it out prior to the press conference. And then about five minutes after the press conference starts, we get another little volatility contraction. But once Jerome starts speaking throughout and after the uh, after the presser, a lot of times we see the movement. So I'm buying a uh, I'm buying a strangle at that point. So 10 minutes till the data. I'm gonna go ahead and enter. So I'm looking at the 70s and the 20s. 
70s and 20s is what I'm going in at. Trying to get 715. About 710. Filled at 710 on the 70 20s. Uh, trading naked from it's just so infrequent. I just set up a uh, order template. <clears throat> it's pretty easy just to set up the order with an OCO. So I just set up a, an OCO. So I've already got the profit targets and stops in there as well. And then, um, so if I hit 30% before I exit, I'll take half off. Or if we're getting close to 225 Eastern, I'll just, I'll start scaling out. Yeah, Mara, I'm hoping we get a little more contraction out of that gold today as well. Getting a little uh, tiny push higher in SPX, tiny vol contraction. Trading naked for me, I always set my bots to start trying to enter 30 seconds before that way. Because sometimes if, if price is moving, the bot's going to have to cancel replace a few times. And so I want to make sure it gets filled by that by that time so that's what i do So yeah, I haven't I haven't done anything this morning. Didn't do any futures trading. Assumed things would be pretty minimal from a movement perspective. So I have done nothing. We've got the S and P's currently up three, Nasdaq up twenty two, Russell down eleven. Russell has been a little weak. Gold slightly green, silver slightly red, notes and bonds up a little bit, 10-year yield down over 1%, oil up 1%, natty gas up 1.5%, uh, soybeans down 1.5%, wheat down 3.5%, wheat's moving, corn down 1%, euro flat, pound down a little bit, Bitcoin up 2.5%, VIX up 2.5%, Staying above 12, currently at 12.36. Yeah, hopefully we get a little benefit on our TGIF. Book some nice profits on the calendars this morning on the one, two, one, three, six, seven. Five minutes till the data comes out. Yeah, B and B's tend to do good. That's why I went with 
a little bit bigger size, did one, two, and a one, three. They tend to do good day before FOMC or the one that you take off on FOMC day. I actually was going to go bigger and then I, I reduced my number of contracts at the last minute. Decided to go a little bit, a little bit less, but still good size. Sometimes you see a pretty quick ball crush after the data is released. Most of the time, it's just kind of a little bit more gradual. It depends on market movement, too. Of course, S&P is grinding higher, pushing higher, you get more. Pushing lower, volatility stays a little more bid. Looking at the trade log, and this is 15 different trades going back to the beginning of 2022. Looks like one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. It's like six out of the 15 hit that 30% profit target before exit hasn't happened lately one two three four five the last five fomc meetings one got stopped out and the others we closed at uh at the specified time Yeah, I need to go in and I've got them updated on my FOMC test. I need to just go in and copy those and update the other ones. One could only wish, Andrew K. one could only wish I would sacrifice this iron condor for a rate hike. Actually, I need to adjust my, so it should be 1110, should be my stop. One minute, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, Jerome does not like to surprise, that's for sure. Uh, Cosmo, no, I will not be. So I will, I won't be doing a, a one, two, and I won't be doing my Wednesday two, five today either. All right. SPX pushing up. Volatility coming down a little bit. It's 
So you can kind of you can see that volatility contraction on our trade already, already up four or five, six hundred bucks. Look at the VIX <laughs> just drop like a rock. Down back below 12. SPX pushing up to 46.58. Had an expected move of 26 to start the day, which would be a high of about 72 and a low of about 46.20. Heading towards the upper. So my 30% profit target would be five bucks. SPX running, making a run. Spreads currently trading over 10, my stops at 1110. VIX hovering around above 12, dipped below. Spreads hovering just under 10, my stops at 11.10. Still pushing. My spread's up over 10. I'm going to get stopped out unless we pull back. Can't handle too much more of an up move. Red still hovering around 10. Ten point seven five, getting close to stopping, and I'm going to be stopped. Should be getting stopped. Why am I not getting stopped?
Price is beyond my stop. Spreads trading at 14. My stop was at 11.10. Uh, that's a little concerning. My bids at zero. There I got stopped out. Stopped out at 1460. Nasty slippage. Yeah, my puts didn't have a bid, you're right. All right, so that wasn't good. It's not what I was looking for. Was not considering my puts going worthless that quickly. I think I bought the 10 centers. Yeah, they were 10 cents. All right, well, stopped out of that one. Price pushed right up to the expected move areas. Starting to retrace now. I'm going to take a little short futures position right at this expected move line with a with a uh, pretty tight stop if it pushes again. All right, so I'm short some ES. Sector ETFs, metals up, regional banks up. Only thing kind of flat or down is uh, biotech and it's XLY, consumer discretionary. Everything else in the green on the sectors. Pfizer down 8%, biggest mover to the downside. Several stocks up 5%. Crypto stocks up. Russell, which was down a half percent, now up a percent. Big bounce in Russell. So my next FOMC trade is the long strangle, which I'll put in at 235 Eastern, 135 Central, just after the press conference. So SPX right at that expected move area. 
Let's see if it's going to blow through or give us a little two-sided action here. SPX taking a little pause. S and P up twenty nine, Nasdaq up ninety nine, Russell up nineteen, Dow up two nineteen. Taking a look at my time flies, the DS29, still red a little bit. Same with the DS22. Gold getting a bounce. Helping our short strangling gold. Natty gas getting a little bit of decay on our strangle, not much. EGIF, not much yet. SPX popping back up. So a little over 15 minutes until the press conference. So about 20 minutes till I enter my long strangle. I had, uh, yeah, my stop was on the entire Iron Condor Vegas, Michelle, and then there was no bid on my puts. I just, I was not even thinking that my longs would go bidless that quickly. Should have been thinking that, but I wasn't. No, the bot would have taken care of that. The bot will sell the longs if there's a bid. If not, it'll just close out the legs that have a bid. SPX, still a highs of day. Vegas 
VIX still slightly above 12. Bounce back up slightly above 12. Uh, I've got my, so ES is trading at 47.28. I've got my stop at 47.32 and a half. I've got another five points is all. I'm really just using that upside expected move as kind of my line in the sand there, giving it a little, little room above it. Uh, I'm trading ES, Crush. Um, yeah, it just depends, Bianca. I, I would say more often than not, you get a little bit more two-sided action than this, but... That's just from... Just from memory. NASDAQ getting giving a little bit more two-sided action up here. Ever so slightly. Russell, new highs on the day. SPX as well. No red bars in SPX so far. SPX 4674, all time highs 4818. I'm a little surprised VIX didn't stay under 12 with this move up. Might be just waiting for Jerome. SPX still pushing. Getting close to getting stopped out on my futures.
S and P up thirty four. Stopped on my futures. SPX at 0.68% from the open. Quite a climb, my friends, quite a climb. So at the beginning of the year, I marked the expected move. And we are hitting it. Or we're we're a few points away. It's just above 4680. And that's just based on the option chain, the expected move on January 1. From January 1 till what from what it had as the expected move for one year, and we are about to hit it. By the way, if you go back and listen to my year-end update, my crystal ball protection, my crystal ball prediction was we were going to hit the expected move on the downside. <laughs> so there's how. There's how my predictions work. Woo, this thing is moving, boy. Russell up All right, about six minutes till the presser. See if we can get some back with the, uh, look at the VIX starting to climb. Maybe we can get some back with the, uh, the long strangle. And a big move and not a lot of volatility contraction. Tag that 4080 coming down a little bit.
I enter five minutes after the press conference starts. <clears throat> yep. 35 after. Yeah, 30 Delta tomorrow. So it'd be forty six ninety on the calls. Sixties or sixty fives on the puts as of right now. Yep, good to go, MRP. It's basically deflation. Everything you buy is basically getting cheaper. Haven't you noticed? All right, four minutes till entry. Here comes Jerome. Looking at the 4690, 4660, I'll give it another minute, get another few minutes. I don't use a stop on the uh, long strangle, E. Allison.
<clears throat> Two more minutes. SPX still hovering a few points off of its highs of day. VIX 12.22. All right, looking at the 46 90s. I'm going to go 46.95. And the 46.70s. Build at 880 on the 4695s and 4670s. Some build at 880, some at 885. So my price target would be at eleven ninety five. SPX racing higher. Market likes Jerome today. PX up to 46.86, up 43 on the day, closing in on 1% higher. NASDAQ up 1%, Russell up 1.7. VIX still chopping around 12.20 ish. Notes and bonds are higher. 10-year yield down over 3.5%. 10-year yield back down to 4.054. Lowest we've seen since 1st of September.
So I'm, SPX started at 4646 when FOMC started. Now at 4685. A quick move up to 4,700 or down to 4,665, preferably down if I get the option. Still pushing new highs, VIX definitely not coming off even with this up move. Question time. Forty six ninety one, almost forty six ninety two of a high. What a move. This is very one directional, that's for sure. No dancing, just straight moving up. Russell up 2.21. Look at that Russell. <laughs> Started off at 1890, now it's at 1947. Strangles trading at nine ninety, profit target eleven ninety five.
4695. Just another quick five points would do it. Yep, it wants 4,700. Let's go. VIX pushing now. It's up 2.2%. VIX now above where it's or right at where it started when it, when the uh, FOMC data released. A little dip, pop back up. Look at that 10-year yield drop like a rock, almost down to four. Euro in the pound up, U.S. dollar weak. Bitcoin up 4%, back above 43,000. UPST up 13%. Netflix up almost 4%. Bank of America up three and a half percent. Coinbase up four and a half. Three six ninety six on SPX. 
I go quicker. UPST calls, we'll go nice. How far out? In duration. Gotcha. make a push above 4,700 now. I'll be back in two minutes, guys.
98, but volatility contracting a little bit now. Didn't happen quick enough. I didn't trade anything but FOMC trades today, Meech. I got filled in my lung strangle at 880. It's currently trading at 930. And we are up to almost 4,700. Above 4,701. 47, Man. Did not quite get there. Did not quite get there. Down move is going to kill this trade now. We don't get a quick pop. Still pushing new highs. Getting close. One more little push. My spread got up above 11. My profit target's at 11.95. 11.30. Come on, little buddy. A little more. <laughs> Just a little more. Nice, Anil. Mm. Five point pullback, no bueno. Hey, pal, still taking questions. <clears throat> Let 
back up to 11. One more little push. 11.40. VIX is falling. So close, so close. SPX high of 4702.73. Just didn't quite happen fast enough yet. All right, it spreads back up to 11 again. New highs of day. It's trying. going to get out of 11 of my 12 and leave a runner, but I'm going to put my other one up there as well, just to get out. We do one more little push. It's up to 1170. Ugh. Just can't quite fight the theta off enough to get there. Fighting that theta, fight it off. 1160. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. Well, we got Vix is trying to climb back up a little bit. Maybe that'll help. There we go. 1195. It hit. Woohoo. <laughs> uh. We made it, boys and girls. We made it. That helped. SPX up above 4705, up 62 and a half points on the day. Russell up over 3%. Look at that thing. It's 
60 point move and the wrestle is a monster. All right, now we can crash. Dick K, you see any reason to short yet? <laughs> I haven't seen anything. Any fib levels? Any tick action? What's going on? Still looking. Ugh. I mean, we did have one little red five minute bar at uh, 125 central. Is that what they call two sided action? 4709. Guess we should have held. <laughs> B slap is nowhere to nowhere to be found. V pop. Should have been looking at V pop. VIX is holding above 12 for some reason. Even the VIX is like, seriously? You're still going up? Seriously, SPX? You're still going up. A little over 100, 100 points away from all-time highs, my friends. We just crushed through the expected move for the year by 30 points. Nope, no runner. I went ahead and put in my last one just to get done. All right, my friends, I'm going to jump off here. One loser, one winner. My loser was bigger than my winner, though. So net red on the day for this FOMC. No power hour for me. Go take care of some other positions, some other stuff done. But everyone have a good rest of your day. Uh, as far as tomorrow, live streams go. Tomorrow's the 14th. So chat will be streaming in the morning, and then we'll be back on for power hour tomorrow. All right, all. Take care. Have a good night.